Okay, Caillou, let's take that turn to the left and head back home. Got it. Hey, Daddy, race you home. Be careful, Caillou. It's a bit bumpy over there. What? <gasps> You. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Wen. We're just going to take a quick x ray of your arm, okay? I'm afraid your arm is broken, so I'll need to be in a cast for six weeks. Six weeks? Now, I'm just wrapping some padding around your arm before we put on the plaster so it won't hurt. Now you need to hold very still until this is dry, okay, Caillou? Otherwise it won't work. Uh, it's so heavy. It feels weird. <laughs> It'll feel a bit strange for a day or two, but I'm afraid it's the only way to make sure your arm gets better. Oh, how did that get 
get there. Wakey, wakey, Caillou. Oh, good, you're up. We need to go and see Grandma. Mommy, look, look, what is it? Hmm. Looks like a rash, Caillou. A rash? Oh, no. How did I get it? I don't know, Caillou. But we'll have to figure it out before we go and see Grandma. But why? Well, if we don't know what gave you that rash, then we can't be sure Grandma won't get it too. We need to be safe. Okay. I know. Let's think about what you did yesterday and try to work out where the rash came from. Do you remember what you did? Hmm. Well, I went to the park with Daddy. <gasps> Daddy, can I have some lemonade? Mm. We stopped to buy lemonade. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Whoops. It was delicious. Oh. Oh. But I tripped and spilled it. Hmm. Maybe it was the lemonade? I don't think that's it, Caillou. You've had lemonade lots of times before. What else did you do after? <laughs> nice to meet you. I met a friendly dog who kept licking my face. <laughs> Mommy, maybe it was the dog? Hmm. But there's no rash on your face. Keep thinking. Where did you go next? I just played with Teddy. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Ready for takeoff, Captain Teddy? Teddy landed in a big bush. But it was okay because I rescued him. <laughs> and we flew home together with him in my t shirt. <laughs> oh, Caillou! It sounds like maybe Teddy landed in some poison ivy and then it got on your tummy. Worry. That's just the name of the plant. You'll be fine. A nice soothing bath will make you feel a lot better. <laughs> All right, Caillou. Time to get out. And that's Teddy. Good as new. So can we go and see Grandma now? She won't get sick. I'm afraid not, Caillou. But why? Well, you can't go in your bathrobe, silly. Huh? <laughs> Tag, you're it, Rosie. <laughs> Oh no! It's hurt its
its wing, Rosie. Birdie, hurt? Oh, we need to get it to Mommy. Mommy, Daddy! Huh? This baby bird hurt its wing. Oh, dear. Hmm. It has a twig stuck in its wing. We'll need to get that out. should do it, but we'll need to take care of it until it can fly again. Let's make up a bed so it can rest while its wing heals. There, Birdie. Now you'll be comfy while your wing gets better. Wing get better! Something for breakfast. You? What you looking for? Birdie's hungry, Daddy. I need to bring him some food. Huh? Oh! Oh! Huh? You've got to be more careful, Caillou, or you could really hurt yourself. Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, Caillou, birds do eat worms, but not gummy worms. But we don't have any real worms, so Birdie can eat some of these seeds. Here you go, Birdie. Daddy says you might like sunflower seeds. like Birdie is all better. You've done a really good job looking after him, Caillou. Birdie better. Careful, Rosie. Birdie is small, so we have to be gentle. That's right, Caillou. We need to take extra care with small animals like Birdie, or we might accidentally hurt them. But I think it's time for Birdie to go back to his nest now. <laughs> hey, that's my head, not your nest. I'll miss you, Birdie, lots. Good luck, Birdie! And before we take him home, I have to pack up all of Gerald's food and his favorite toys in my backpack. Oh, and his ball! <laughs> Tell Gerald I say hello. <laughs> Good morning, Gerald. Are you excited to come home with me today? I've made you a special area in my room by my bed. It's really nice and warm, and we can play all weekend in. 
Harold? <laughs> Are you still sleeping? It's time for school. Gerald? It's time to come out. <gasps> oh no! Gerald's gone! Gerald? Gerald! Gerald, come out! Good morning, class. Let's all take our places for the... Oh, <laughs> Caillou! <laughs> What are you doing over there? Gerald's missing! Why don't you take your seat, Caillou, and I'll explain. All right, class. As you've realized already, Gerald isn't here anymore. Where is he? Gerald was a very happy hamster, but he was also very old. So I'm afraid last night, while he was sleeping, he died. Died? Yes, but he had a very long life and loved you all very much. But it was my turn to bring him home. Don't worry, Caillou. You can just take him when he comes back. Well, Leo, I'm sorry, but Gerald won't be coming back. When someone dies, they don't come back. So I'm afraid we won't see Gerald again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. He had a good and happy life. I know, but I'm really going to miss him. Not hungry, Caillou? Not even for some ice cream? Ice cream? No, thanks. Can I be excused, please? Ah, of course. Mind if I join you? I'm sorry about Gerald, Caillou. I know he was your friend. But do you know what else I know? That you were his friend. You made him very happy. And neither of you will ever forget that. But I won't get to see him or play with him or... I know. But you'll always have the memories you shared. And good memories like those, well, they last forever. <laughs> I think Gilbert's saying he'll play with you if you want. <laughs> Thanks, Gilbert. Today, class, you can all draw anything you want. But it has to be something that makes you really happy. I decided to draw Gerald because he was my friend. He's gone now, and we won't see him again, which is really sad. So I drew my favorite memory of him. My daddy says memories are forever. So now I'll always be able to look at this picture and remember Gerald and feel happy. Goodbye, Gerald. <laughs> That's a great snail, Andy. But aren't snails kind of scary? Snails aren't scary. My favorites. Oh, but they're so slimy and... Oh. What is that? 
Okay, class. This is a fire alarm, so we all have to leave the classroom. Please find your buddies. Follow Miss Shelley outside and line up in the playground. Come on, Andy. You're my buddy, remember? <gasps> Andy? <laughs> Nice and steady now. Oh, Mrs. Martin, I think it's too loud for Andy. He needs his headphones. Good idea, Caillou. They're just over there by his backpack. Thank you, Caillou. Now come along. We need to go to the playground. Great job, everyone. This was just a practice, but you were all very calm and did what you were told. So well done. And now, it's recess time. Have fun. <laughs> It's recess now. Do you want to play catch? I have your special ball. Everything okay, Caillou? Me and Andy were having a lot of fun drawing, but he doesn't want to play with me anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, Andy really doesn't like loud noises. So that fire alarm was extra scary for him. Yeah, I get scared too sometimes when it's dark. It isn't nice. Exactly. Just give him some time and he'll be back to his usual self, I'm sure. Ah! <gasps> get it away! Clementine, are you okay? It's a snail! Ew! Snails are slimy and scary. Don't worry, Clementine. It's perfectly harmless. We'll move it out of the way for you now. Snail! Cool! That's right! Snails are Andy's favorite! Can you help us get the snail away from Clementine? Snails don't go on slides. Ugh. Time to go home, snail. Wow, that was amazing, Andy. Yeah, you saved me. Yes, well done, Andy. That was quick thinking. See, Caillou? The alarm may have been scary and painful for Andy because of his autism, but the snail wasn't. Everyone has things they find hard to cope with, but that's okay, because we all help each other when we struggle. Yeah! Got you! Catch! <laughs> Here it comes! All right, class. Today we're going to have a pop quiz. Aww. Now, you know how hard we've been working on our numbers? Well, this is just a little test to see how much you've learned or to see where you might need some extra help. It's nothing to worry about. Now, I'll read out the questions and you just need to write the answers on your sheets. You can turn over your papers now. Question one. How many apples do you see on the page? Hmm. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Next, 
How many apples do I have if I add two more? If you're having trouble, draw the extra apples. Question three. If I take five apples away, how many are left? <gasps> Next up are some questions about shapes. Now, how many sides does a square have? Oh no, not shapes. Can you draw a triangle? Uh. 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 Caillou, were you looking at Leo's paper? Uh. No, Mrs. Martin, I, I promise I... I'll see you after class, Caillou. Great work, class. Now go on out for recess. Please hand your papers in to me on your way out. <laughs> Not you, Caillou. Take a seat, please. Now, Caillou, do you understand why you failed the test? It's because you cheated, Caillou. And cheating is wrong, isn't it? I didn't cheat, Mrs. Martin. Then why were you looking over at Leo's paper? I... I didn't mean to. I was... <sighs> now, Caillou, it's okay to admit you made a mistake. We all make them sometimes. The important thing is to own up and do better in the future. I'm not good at shapes, and I was worried I'd get the wrong answers. So, I cheated. I'm sorry. Thank you for telling the truth, Caillou. You should never cheat, but you should always ask for help if you need it. If you're finding shapes hard, then I can give you some extra help in class, okay? Hmm. How does that sound? Yeah, I like that. Thanks, Mrs. Martin. Good. Well, some of recess is left. Why don't you go out and play? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Caillou? Maybe oh. we can go through the test together later. Without cheating. <laughs> yes, Mrs. Martin. <laughs> sure thing, Caillou. <laughs> Hello there. How many hot dogs do we need, Caillou? One, two, three, four. Four, please. No problem. Coming right up. Okay, any sauces for you? Hmm. Oh, oh, 
Uh, can I do it, please? Sure, kid. Here you go. Mustard for me, please, Caillou. I'll have ketchup. <gasps> ketchup! Okay, mustard for Mommy. Ketchup for Rosie. I want ketchup and mustard. Done, Caillou. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Careful, Caillou. Caillou, I suppose it does. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, what is it, Caillou? It's just like the one from the parade. Can I get it, please? <laughs> okay. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle gave you five dollars for five boxes of cookies. You've only given him three. <gasps> yeah, that's not right, Caillou. Oh, sorry. So you have three. Here's four and five. <laughs> Thank you very much, Caillou and Clementine. Thanks, Mr. Hinkle. Yeah! Have a nice day. Wow, 
We already sold 10 boxes of cookies today. I wonder if we can sell 20. Or 30. Or 50. Or 100. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. These people are marching. Marching? Why? People march when they're unhappy about something big and they want to change it. They march with signs to let the people in charge know how they feel. Why are they shouting so loudly? Yeah. What are they upset about? Well, they want to get everyone's attention. This is a protest to stand up against racism. What's racism? Oh, Mommy told me. Racism is when people are mean to each other because of their skin color. Right, Mom? That's right, Clementine. See, there was a time when you two wouldn't have been able to play together just because of the colors of your skin. Really? Yes. People with darker skin like me and Clementine were not allowed to do the same things as people with lighter skin like you, Caillou. You two wouldn't have been able to swim together or ride the bus together or even eat at restaurants together. That's not fair. Lots of people agreed, Caillou. So they all marched together, just like this. And things changed and got better. So now you and Clementine can both play together and do all the same things. Oh. So marching is a good thing. It is, Clementine. Sometimes people are still mean to people with darker skin, like us. So all these people are trying to make things better. And when lots of different people all come together like this, they can change the whole world. Wow! Water! Free water! I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, hi, Caillou. Hi, Clementine. Hi, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. What are you doing with all that water? Me and my parents are passing them out to thirsty people on the march. That's so nice. Hey, you two. Should we get back to selling cookies? Well, some of the people marching look kind of hungry. Could we give them some cookies? Oh, can we? Can we? I think that's a wonderful idea. We can spare a few boxes. Water! Water! Free water! Cookies! Cookies! Free cookies! I'm going to swing through the trees just like a monkey. Monkey swing. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get climbing. Yeah! 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 This thing around your tummies and legs is called a harness. It's what attaches you to the rope and the tree to stop you from falling. I'm going to climb that big tree over there. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to fly from that really huge one. I'll fly faster than you. Will not. Caillou, Clementine, please pay attention. Hmm. So, what do you want to do first? Um... Why don't we start at that one? 
That one's for babies, Leo. Uh, I know. Uh, just for practice. Then we can be super quick on the bigger ones. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me, Billy. I'll do it even faster than Clementine. <laughs> Be careful, Caillou. I'm right here. That's it. Just take it one step at a time. I did it! <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Leo. Now let's go do the bigger ones. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Should go first. Yeah. No. I'll do it. Leo, are you sure? I was scared at the start, but you guys kept cheering me on, and I'm not scared anymore. As long as you're here, I can do anything. Vegetables, Caillou, you won't get any ice cream. Ice cream? Woohoo! Stop it, Rosie! I don't want broccoli! That's it, Caillou. Go to your room. No dessert. You're grounded. Fine! Hmm. Uh, Caillou, mad. Broccoli is so gross, Teddy. I hate it. I never want to eat it ever again. Oh, hello. Hello. Can Caillou come out and play with us? I'm sorry, Leo. Caillou isn't allowed out today. He's been oh. very naughty, so he's grounded. Oh, Caillou mad. Okay. We'll see him another day, I guess. Hmm. Psst. 
<gasps> Leo! Clementine! Wait there! I'll come down! No, Caillou! You'll get in trouble! Gilbert, look, it's a tasty treat. I'm speaking to you. What do you think you're doing? I... I... just wanted to see my friends. You're grounded, Caillou. You were very naughty earlier. I know, but... No buts, Caillou. And you definitely shouldn't try to sneak out. What if you had gotten hurt? Or lost? We wouldn't have been there to help you. I... I... Uh... I'm sorry. I'm not allowed out today because I was bad earlier. Okay, Caillou. We'll see you another day. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so mad. And I'm sorry for scaring you, Rosie. Caillou, mad. It's okay, Caillou. Thank you for apologizing. I'll go back to my room now. Finish your broccoli. 